guys. I know it's like only been like, what, 20 minutes since I've been gone? I went ate lunch and then my dog started like, we have a glass front door. It's a beautiful front door because like it looks straight out, you know, we have the marina right in front of us. So of course you're going to want to have a glass door. I mean, we do rent this house and I, anything that crosses the path of the door, the dog wants to bark that's her job she's protecting us but at the same time unless somebody is coming to the door I don't I need to try to train her to not you know just because somebody's parked at the marina or somebody's walking around at the marina she doesn't need to bark and so I heard barking and it was kind of an aggressive bark so it's like you know stop it stop it or you're going to end up in the kennel and it happened to be the UPS man coming to the door with my coach glasses so I didn't punish her and I told her she's a good girl and stuff because that's her job and, and it's really hard you know when you have a glass door when you have a dog who you know, she's not, she loves everybody. Even if she were to get outside to him, she'd probably lick him to death, if anything. Um, so, it, 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 but I don't want, you know, I don't want to bother the neighbors. Nobody has ever said anything to me about, like, oh, your dog barks all the time. But I do try to teach her that when to bark and when not to bark. Just letting you know that's how I found out that my glasses were at the door. <laughs> but um, he, it's only 12.53 here, so almost 1 o'clock. Um, our mail pro probably hasn't even come yet, so I don't think there's anything else out there waiting for me in the mail because um, everything else seems to come by mail rather than actual UPS unless he shoved a bunch of stuff in the mailbox. I doubt he would do that if he were to come to the door. So, um, his box hasn't been opened yet. Says it came from Jacksonville, Florida. And that's where it had gotten stuck at um, for a long time with the other version of this that I had bought in. So, um, that's why we're pretty sure, you know, that it did, it ended up in Kentucky, and I think it's, like, just, as far as we know, stuck in Kentucky somewhere, but, um, you never know, I might end up getting it, who knows, but, um, they were super nice, and then I did talk to the people at Holt Look about the Lorac palettes. She actually refunded um, one of my shipping costs, and I was kind of confused because they were two separate orders, and I kind of felt, well, I should pay for both of those shipments, and she's like, she just, I don't, I don't remember what her reason was for taking off one of the sh the shipments. Um, they said that, she said that the reason why I hadn't gotten, because the other two are from one makeup brand, and then the Lorac is another makeup brand. Well, they haven't received the other makeup brand from Nordstrom's Rack yet, so that's why those did not come with the Lorax and the Lorac palette the way that I had originally ordered it. And she thought it was kind of odd as well, but she looked into it and that's why. So those haven't shipped yet because they haven't came to um, wherever they send them out from. That They're not there yet as far as I know. But she was also really nice and took off, you know, price of um, one of the shipping. And I was like, well, there, there is still technically two shipments. But, and she still took off one of the shipping prices. So, you know, hurrah for Coach and hurrah for Coat Look. 
he kind of like threw it on the ground, so I'm like all stressed out, but I know it's, you know, in a case. It's like, I don't want it to be the same thing with my, I mean, if you look at how this, okay, there's sunglasses in here, right? In a case, right? The other package, if those of you who did watch it, if you did not watch it, go to the, to the video where it says, like, do not buy from Couture Closets. Yes, I'm saying it again. Because that package, if that, the lens broke during the shipping process, it's because that package was in, do I have like a package of that size anywhere in here? It was, hold on, I'm going to actually see if I can, because like, I want to show, so if they're watching, they can understand, hi guys, <laughs> what my point is. All right. Let's use this as an example. Okay? Now, this isn't exactly what they were in, but say this was a box about this size, and you took a pair of a sunglass case that had sunglasses in them, aviator sunglasses, put them in, like, one of those really small, um, around this size, but in thin box, so it's packed really, really tight. Imagine my hands in there. It's really, really tight. If something gets set on top of it, there's a very good chance that it can pop out a lens. The only reason that I believe it happened before um, it le like left, like that it happened at the place, was because the lens, when I opened it, they they look totally normal, and then I went and picked to pick them up, and the lens fell out. So it was like the lens was perfectly in place, and you would think that if it had gotten smashed and broke the lens out, one, it would probably have broken the lens as well, like it would have snapped the lens possibly, or it would have, you know popped the actual frame and broken the frame as well but all it did was one of the lenses popped out which leads me to believe that there was already a problem with the lens that's all i'm trying to say but when you get a box like this with a pair of sunglasses in it and if something gets put on top of it it's less likely to get damaged I mean, if these are damaged, I know that, I mean, I know from talking to Coach online um, before that they're totally willing to, oh my gosh, these, I'm already freaking out. These are so amazing. <laughs> so the way they packaged it is they are just sitting in here with this. But because of that, it's less likely if something were to be set on top of it, you know, that they're going to break. And this case is much harder than the um, case that the Dolce & Gabbana are in. Because even that case was kind of bleh. And that was not in the description. But anyways, we're happy because I got my coach sunglasses. I'm sorry I keep bringing that up. It's just I want them to understand why I feel the way I feel. So, Coach New York, let's open this up. <laughs> I love that it has, like, the little coach on the, like, even on the outside, on the, um, on the case. Oh, my gosh. And then there's a the little um, protective um, cloth, and again, <laughs> a little book. To oh my gosh, even the little cloth has little C's on them. I'm like, oh, we're so overly excited about this. <laughs> it's kind of silly. $40! $40, $40 I paid for these. These things should have been like 200 bucks. Look at let me open this. Oh my gosh! Look at the little seasons, the cloth. 
Oh my gosh, that is just way too cute. It's just way too cute. Oh, I love that. I mean, that's just that's so cute. And then in the inside. So these are the glasses. They're, you know, I like my big glasses. They are kind of clear. They are a plastic um, rim. And um, it does say, you know, coach on the side here. And then let's try it on. They're totally me. <laughs> it's so cute. They, like, these are so beach glasses or, like, go into the pool sunglasses, you know, with, like, a little, like, you have your bathing suit on and then put on, like, your little, like, maxi over your bathing suit or something to that extent. That's how I see these. And you're just sitting there lounging, reading a book. <laughs> But these will be, these are a really cute summer pair of glasses. Oh my goodness. They are a little too round, but I, I still think they're cute. Like the frames I think are like, kind of like bug-eyed a little bit, but um, I still love them. Cause I, I love, I love, 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 love big sunglasses. But um, for forty dollars, forty dollars on a pair of two hundred dollars sunglasses, you just you can't beat that. <laughs> you just can't beat that. You know they did have other another pair that were the same price that I like would have rather have picked but I liked these too so I didn't have a problem like I wasn't like well I can't have those ones so I'm just gonna order these no I like these too so that's why I picked them and it's like I'm not gonna miss out on getting a good pair of sunglasses especially for $40 you know and that's yeah, up again. That's why I because that's how much the Dolce and Gabbana's were for forty dollars, but they were used. These are brands making new. I mean, yeah, Dolce and Gabbana is a tad bit more expensive than Coach, but still. So and there's the case. And then that's my dog. <laughs> but um very pleased with coach so um maybe next month I will because they they're having another sale tomorrow and it's like oh my god where they're doing um carry on totes for like travel and I'm like I have one but <sighs> it's so hard for me when I'm like because I really like to show you guys this stuff when I do my shipping deal, like, or shipping deal, you know, um, fashion deals, you know, on the blog, and then I do it, you know, I put everything on the blog, even stuff that I have bought, you know, I'll put on the blog, and then um, when I'm doing that, if I see something and I'm like, wow, that's, you know, really cheap. And I would really like to have that or like with clothes, you know, I really am in a need for clothes. I don't want to get too much as far as clothes are concerned because, you know, I'm hoping to slim down. But um, it's really hard to turn down, especially something like this where... I'm going to have these probably, you know, forever. And um, they're really, I don't think, ever going to go out of style. And even if they do, I have, you know, a few other pairs of sunglasses that I do switch around. Um, so... 
even if they were to go out of style for a year, I have other glasses. And like aviators, those are like always in style. And that's one of the reasons I wanted to get those from Dolce & Gabbana, but from the, the, the contour closets. But it's really unfortunate because that hat probably was as far as not like the Holt look and um, Beyond the Rack and stores like that, but as far as consignment stores, and that's why I get really afraid of purchasing online from consignment stores. I'd rather go, and I have like a there's so many consignment stores here in Washington. I had no idea, and it's not a good thing. <laughs> but um, you have to be careful. So I was really disappointed when that happened because they were definitely the cheapest that I have ever seen as far as what they had in stock, like the quality, like. I was getting ready to purchase a pair of Chanel sunglasses for the cheapest I've ever seen but because of what happened and I want Chanel sunglasses so badly um, they were a hundred like a hundred dollars like when do you ever see that so but I'm I'm super super excited about these um, so I did yesterday, um, I posted the link to the sign up page and always go to the blog. You don't have to be a member. Just go to jeana48h.tumblr.com. Go to the sidebar. Click on my fashion, um, fashion deals link. One of the last things I posted was the link to the website for the Coach Factory Outlet online store it is the ex and this is one thing i want to make perfectly clear this is not a fake outlet this is the exact outlet that you go to i'll say it a thousand times if i have to it is the exact same outlet that you go to when you go to the outlets they just decided to have an online store which as far as I know, no, except for um, off um, Saks Fifth Avenue, that's the only other place that I know that does it. Um, and I do post uh, stuff from there too. I haven't bought anything from there yet because I keep finding these websites, these websites, these websites, and it's like it gets kind of hard. And when I'm trying to pick the you know lowest priced items. It's not like I can go out and spend two thousand dollars on a Chanel bag. I, I just can't do that. You know, even when I have bought multiple things in a month, I don't even come close to that much money. Um, like if you were to add it all up, it wouldn't even come close to that. So. You know, yeah, I'll go on there and I'll try to find, you know, say they do have a pair of whatever sunglasses for a super good deal or a bag or makeup or whatever. You know, that's why you mostly see me buying jewelry and you mostly see me buying, you know, like this isn't a super designer top, but however... If I happen to go to Goodwill, or if I happen to go to a consignment store, or if I happen to actually find, um, you know, a higher-end um, designer brand of something, you know, I will buy it. I am all about getting the best bang for my buck. That's just plain and simple. And I think that's what makes it hard for me to, when I'm doing, you know, I'm online and I'm putting this stuff online and I'm going, oh my gosh, they have these shoes for only, you know, $9.99 or $19.99. It's hard to, to not purchase something like that because you're like, when am I going to see that again? Like, with 
knees. I'm like, when will I ever see that again? So, it's one of those. With the Spanx, that's why I chose to buy the Spanx instead of getting the lighting equipment. When, yes, I know I really need to get the lighting equipment, but I really badly have been waiting to find Spanx. I wasn't even the one that found them. My sister was the one that found them and told me about it. So I thought that was kind of funny because <laughs> I hadn't, it was, this was like 8 o'clock in the morning. She was like, oh my God, have you seen? Like she called me or no, she texted me and she was like, Gil's going to have Spanx and you know, this and that. And I already knew what I wanted. As soon as I got on the page, I saw that they had them. They had them in my size and I bought them right then and there because that's something that I need because I want to have at least a few pair of shapewear to rotate so I'm not wearing the same ones every day and they don't, you know, fall apart on me. But anyways, so, you know, I just, you know, I always feel like I have to explain myself. I don't know why. I just do. But thank you guys so much again for um, watching. I, I really, you know, appreciate everybody who's out there watching. I really do. Um, please subscribe. Um, you know, I do have big, you know, I, I have, a, I'm going to create a website. I'm just... <sighs> My husband does not think it's a good idea, and I agree, until I have a large following, yes, I'm getting lots of views, I, I see that, but, um, because I've only been doing this for like a couple months, and yes, I'm getting a pretty good decent amount of views for only have been doing this for just a short period of time, but subscriber wise on here it's like I have two subscribers so I need to know that people are more interested yeah I could do a lot more by fixing up the room you know getting better lighting and yes there's stuff I can do but I can't create my website until I know that I have a follow a, a larger following because once I do get my website up and running everything will be completely different you know I I will have my you know lighting equipment you know I'm gonna try to get all of that even before I get my website up it's just I don't get stuff for free. I am not affiliated with any of these people and any of these companies. Um, I, you know, I, 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 I don't even know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> but um, I would just really appreciate um, some more subscribers here and on Tumblr. Um, I haven't, I need to start doing more of my looks of the week, um, stuff like that. <laughs> it's been really busy during the weekends for my husband, so, and I haven't, except for like last week and the week before, but I haven't had the time to actually sit and do it, and I want it done a certain way, and it's just like this big hassle, but anyways. I'm going to get it done. <laughs> All right, guys. No, thank you. Really, thank you. But please, if you can just subscribe. I just want to see my numbers go up. just want to see them go up, up and up. Yes, I'm a goofball. Yes, I'm crazy. But that's why I did stand up. And like, <laughs> yeah, that's just my personality. I like to make people laugh. And if I've made you laugh today or any other day, then I feel like I have done what I am on this planet to do. So thank you guys. And I will see you later today probably because I'm sure I have more coming. 
Um, but so you know, as of right now, until the middle of the month, I'm done purchasing. So stuff it will start to slow down, and I have to stick to my budget. So last month I just kind of went on a woo, but that's not going to happen again. So unless. I, the only way I will buy something else besides my lighting equipment is if something like this pops up where it's more Spanx for cheaper or, you know, something I actually need. So, yeah, that, that, I won't be buying anything other than lighting equipment um, and stuff to better the website. Um, unless it's like some crazy deal. So, but that's it for now. So, I'll see you around four-ish. <laughs> Thanks again, guys. Subscribe. J-E-A-N-A-4-8-H is the channel here. And J-E-A-N-A-4-8-H dot Tumblr dot com is the blog. And that's where you will find anything from JTV which yes I've purchased from there and yes you can find really nice jewelry for very cheap even their, their the Bella Luce um, the fake they're like created diamonds um, they're very beautiful um, I, I, I even have um, a couple of gemstones that I got like One's a blue to topaz, and then I have two half carat um, mahalo rubies that need to be set, because um, they'll sell just gemstones that you can set yourself. Um, I actually made a because um, I have a um, it's a ring. It's called um, it's like the rarest sapphire. Paparacha, paparacha, a paparacha sapphire. I had, I, I got a ring at a jewelry store. Really good deal on it, and it's probably around a six carat ring. And those are the like, like most, ex they're like more than diamonds. And I got an amazing deal on it. And then they had um, on JTV lab created paparachas. And I was like, okay, that's fine. And um, because it was super cheap, I bought it and it came with the set where you can actually set it yourself and make a pendant out of it. And that's exactly what I did. So that I had, I mean, you can tell by looking at the ring and then looking at the pendant. Yes, there is a bit of a color difference because one is, you know, made by Mother Earth and one is made by man. Um, there is a slight difference in color, but, um, they, they do have really great deals. You'll find Avon on there because yes, they have really great deals. So if I put a website on my fashion deals, it's because I have bought something from there and I liked it or like I, the off uh, Saks Fifth Avenue. When I lived in um, Corona, that's where I grew up in uh, California. And Ontario, they had what is called Ontario Mills. It's a big outlet, like the premium outlets. And they have an off Saks Fifth Avenue. It's basically Saks Fifth Avenue's outlet. And I have bought and juice couture shirts there. Um, I don't remember what else, but they also have good deals so and they they do have a makeup department that's where all the makeup comes from that I get from Holt Look because it comes from um oh that's Nordstrom's Rack I'm thinking of Nordstrom's Rack but yes the off Saks Fifth Avenue I have gotten stuff from there too so I wouldn't put it on there if I didn't 
know that, you know, it's a good place to shop, so. You can trust me, I promise. Mo ha ha. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you again. I know I keep saying it over and over and I don't stop. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. Just stay healthy. Have a good day. I'll see you in a little bit to um, show you some of the other good deals that I've gotten. And pretty soon I'm not going to have anything left to show you for a while. So, <laughs> but better me getting light equipment and I'll open that with you guys and maybe I'll even set it up with you <laughs> we'll see what happens all right thank you guys see you in a while bye